In this video, I'd like to use StatCrunch to calculate probabilities of a standard normal distribution. I'm going to be going over the answers associated with this page here. If you watched my last video, we saw that when we did these four problems, we got, and we, we used the z-score chart, we got four different probabilities and thus four different percentages associated with the areas. I'm going to use StatCrunch now. So let's take this screen and we can put this in the corner. And now we're looking at StatCrunch. For the first one, we were looking for the probability of a z-score or the area below a z-score of negative 0.89. To do this, I will go to Stat, Calculators, and then Normal. I know with a standard normal distribution, I'm going to have to put in a mean of 0, which I already have in there, and a standard deviation of 1. This is for the standard normal distribution. If we, and when we get to problems using a different mean and standard deviation, you will change that there. I'm looking for the area for the first problem below, and notice we have a choice here of less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, but since we saw less than, it turns out that using a less than or equal to or a less than is essentially the same thing when we're calculating the probability for a continuous random variable. Anyway, we're looking for the first one, probability of a z-score less than negative, so I'll delete that, negative 0 0.89. And when I hit compute, it will tell me. We get 0 0.1867 and it actually continues and it provides you a picture. I know that was a part of the steps where we drew the bell curve, we labeled the z-score, we shaded. It's all given to us by plugging these numbers in. The second problem still had a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1 since we're dealing with the standard normal curve. And we are looking for a z, but this time we were looking for greater than, and it was 1.45. So when I hit compute, it gives me that answer. It gives me the area above that z-score, and it gives me the picture. If you want to pause the video and confirm your last two, please do. I'm going to go ahead and look at the third one. We were looking at a z-score. It was greater than or equal to, but we had a negative 1.38. And notice, it's going to give us the area above that z-score. You don't have to worry about any of the subtractions or anything. For the final problem, we're not looking for any z-score above or below a particular value. We're actually looking for the area between. So on the StatCrunch page here, we can click on the word between. We know the mean is 0, the standard deviation is 1. And instead of having just one value to put in, we now have 2. So if we look, this problem had a lower bound of 1.31 and an upper bound of 2.46. So I plug those in, it gives me the picture, and it gives me the area.